Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning, or for that matter, a great day. It's less of a morning and more of, like, the really late evening. But um, I hope you guys are having a good day. If you are, you know, that, that that's good to hear. Um, today, as you can see, I'm planning on playing some vampire survivors. It's been a while. Not really that long. I really like this game, and I really want to finally unlock everything. I'm pretty sure I unlocked most of the newer content, other than the super secret stuff, which, <laughs> that's gonna take me a while. Uh, I mean, some of that stuff is, like, really weird. Um, today, I'm planning on doing a super long run. Uh, I had done some minor grinding, I think. I unlocked some more stuff here and there, but nothing major. Um, I think it was just more arcana and getting an a, a bit extra gold. Uh, we're getting really close to the end of this game. I would argue that actually, like, there's not that much left to get. I mean, I have the two more items that I need to pick up. But once I get those two items, technically I, I have every item in the game. Unlocked, at least. And then I need the three arcana, and then that's all of the main stuff. And then I'll cover all the secret characters, and then I guess I'll be done until this game gets an update. So, today, what was I planning? I was planning to play Galio. I know I haven't played Galio before, and it's, it's a cool concept. He starts with one extra level at the very start, and then he gains 10% growth for every five levels, he starts with a singular, a singular Chrono Lance, which is brutal. But he gets, um, I don't know if you guys noticed over in the bottom left, he gets like a bunch of extra skips and rerolls that are just insane. Um, what map did I want to play on? Probably Galio's Tower. You know, fitting that I would be playing Galio's map with Galio. I know. Um... The sound seems a bit lower than normal. I might have to bump that up. So what is the Arcana that I'm going to want to get? Uh... Don't exactly know. So this one is an Arcana that I unlocked off camera. Every two minutes, attract all standard items and pickups and light sources toward the character. And then it shows you all the I stage items. So... Does that work the way I think it does? I mean, awake would also be a half, not a half bad thing to get. But Chrono Lance doesn't really get any benefits. But having everything be attracted towards me sounds pretty good. Every two minutes, of course. Um, starting with Lardel. Yeah, start with zero attacking items. See how well that goes. Rune Tracer. Oh, so this is what it means. Um, do they just stay there on the ground? Because if they don't go, like, back, this could be insane. Like, actually. I really like this item, or this arcana, if that's the case. Um, do I go with Ebony? I mean, might as well. I have, like, a ton of rerolls. But it's, it's cool because it also attracts every stage, like, object on the map toward you every two minutes. So you can truly just pick up whatever the heck you want. Oh, uh, what items are, am I going to want? Duration effects last longer? Probably not a half bad one. Spellbinder. I could try to go for the um, combination of every uh, combination item. Like an all unions build. That could be pretty interesting. Take duplicator. It's always a good item. You know, extra... Extra projectiles is always a yes. <laughs> for me specifically. Um, if I go for all unions, I'm pretty sure I don't need too many passive items. Might as well take double duplicator. Pretty strong start so far. But that's mainly because I think Galio has such a high, um, increase in, you know, he has such a high increase in, uh, 
growth that it just makes it insane for early game. I uh, get that rune tracer up. Uh, I want to have extra. Um, because it's one of those things where it's like, ah, uh, more rune tracer better. Um, don't really want wings. Extra duration. Sure, sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, about that whole music sounds a little bit... Let's bump that up. It sounds a bit quiet today. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bit more loud than I was yesterday or whenever. Um, bunch of passive items. I really want to go for the whole maxed out build. I don't know why. It, it's just something that I'm like, ooh, that it sounds very fun. Um, it will have its own side effects. I'm pretty sure I only... I need two passive slots for it. Because there's two unions of four items that require a passive slot. Increased duration. There we go. There's all the items being moved to me again. So it really is just every two minutes, every item just permanently gets moved in the game all to you. Which includes all the experience on the ground and just everything in general. Which is really cool. I like that concept. I might take that arcana a bit more because um, sometimes you're like, I really want all the items, but I don't want to have to like travel the entire map to go grab them. Maybe I'm just lazy, I don't know. But to me, that doesn't sound very fun to... Oh, I didn't realize the Spellbinder's on this map. There's one of them. So I guess I'm going Vento and or Birds first. But I can't do them both at the same time. I don't... I might have screwed it up because of Rune Tracer. It's possible that I might not be able to go to the build I want right away. If that's the case, I'll just restart this run and you probably won't see it. If I can't get exactly what I want. If I if I have to make some compromises, it's whatever. You know, who needs guns anyway? More Rune Tracer. These skeletons are both really good at generating experience and also, like, an absolute nightmare sometimes. It's interesting how they work. Uh, it is kind of annoying that I didn't notice that Spellbinder is on this map. It is, like, fair that Spellbinder is on this map. I guess I should just pick it up and save one of the levels or something else so I don't accidentally max it out. That would be smart. Uh, more Vento's Whip or Bird? Vento Whip. Why not? Uh, it's a very interesting thing. The fact that you need... Uh, will I actually have enough slots? Say I go and pick up, um... What's that? I go pick up... Uh, the Whip. I evolve the Whip. Will I have enough slots? That's the true question. I don't know. I really don't know. Because it's one of those things where it's like, how am I supposed to know whether or not I'll have enough slots? It's kind of hard. Uh, there's whip. I would love to get cursed box as well. Cursed box would make this very fun. I now need hollowed heart. I, I think I might. I might have enough slots. You know slots um just due to the facts of how this game is and the fact that i have like five rerolls i think i might be able to like do this i just i find the all uh, practically all um everything build just all union build just kind of cool i don't know maybe it's me Kill the dragon. I don't actually know what those are called. I'm curious. This character does need a lot of levels. 
luckily his whole passive is around that whole concept of leveling up super fast. So I'm kind of lucky in that regard. Oh, I'm glad that even when they die, they continue to, you know, stick around. Uh, or, uh, when they die, they continue to be frozen, the red skeletons. I thought that dying would cure them, like in other games, but, yeah, no. Apparently, if you die of an illness in this and then get revived, you'd still be dead. Pretty interesting concept. I also really like the whip combo. I didn't think I would originally, because I think the normal whip is kind of boring by itself. There's Hollow Heart. But together with other things, it's very fun. Uh, now I need to get both birds. Oh, that's, that's an interesting sound. Um, how many slots am I gonna need? So, birds, um, and Chronolance and Lurinal don't require anything. I only need two slots. Okay, so, cooldown reduction. That was such a weird noise. I didn't notice it before. Maybe because the sound was so low. Oh, technically if that... If I trigger those... And then do that, I could have all of them explode on me at once. That That's kind of funny. It's kind of scary also, because I'm pretty sure that would end my run pretty quickly. This is very much so, you gotta know when to pick up every item. This is very much how this one plays out. Because if you pick up everything too soon, you're never gonna get it. You know, it, it just won't happen. And I think this is one of the few characters that can actually just level through all this and, like, actually get it all. I don't know. A tract orb would also be good, but also kind of bad, because it would guarantee that it would pick up all of the items when they all come towards me at two minutes. But that that's also kind of bad, because when... It, it'd guarantee that I pick up literally everything, which is not... You know, sometimes you want to take a tactful resolve and, like, only take certain things at certain times. Okay, so the two items I need to take for my two final slots are armor and tiramisu. Because of the whole thing with... Oh, a lockup. On this character, that's insane. Because that guarantees that I'm going to get a lot more options. But yeah, no. I want to take armor and tiramisu so I can get guns and upgraded rune tracer. No future. Um, I keep seeing guns, but I, I kind of don't want to pick them up right away, because I kind of want to do birds first, right? Because I just feel like birds is going to work out a lot better at first. Okay, there we go. There, in comes all of the experience. It would have been nice to have that extra passive slot that I would have had. There's armor and tiramisu. I'll take Tiramisu because I think it's a little bit rarer than armor, but I don't know. I guess I should have probably taken armor because I don't have guns yet. And there's no confirmation that I'm going to have guns later. But, who knows. I guess my biggest fear right now is just not having everything to evolve in the end that I'm gonna screw it up and I miscounted something or something like that but I think I should be fine if I upgrade both birds and um birds and whip I'll have two more slots um and then with both birds and whip evolved I two slots becomes guns and then you evolve both guns and then I pick up Lernal for my final one, and then I get the Crimson Cloak, and then I get the Infinite Coronor, and then I get... Like, that's literally everything. 
I mean, if I had another union weapon, this would be impossible because I had to start with a different weapon from a union weapon. But I'm pretty sure that there is no more union weapons in the game after that. So, luckily I'm not screwed too heavily. Um, mainly just due to the fact that this game only has five union weapons, I think, or something like that. Next, uh, next elite drops a chest, which will evolve one of my items. I need to keep that in mind, which item I want guns to evolve or not guns whip to evolve into the, uh, yeah, I want to get whip leveled because if I get whip to level eight, then I can evolve whip and then get the mega whip. And I really like double whip, the like super whip. Dude, it's so satisfying. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting this. Having all of the experience just clump up in one spot. I guess it's bad for areas like this where it makes it harder to pick up a couple of the experience, but it's not the end of the world. There's the other bird. I should totally pick that up, make sure I, you know, guarantee lock in other bird as an option. Okay, now I have both birds, I have both whips, I have the uh, Chrono Lance, which is required for one of the Union weapons, and overall I'd say I'm doing pretty well on the whole Union side of stuff, and, you know, having everything become a Union. How's secondary whips at 6, I need 7, and then 8. Um... Overall, I'd say this run's going really well. And then after I get both, and once I get the whip, then I have to go focus on getting birds. Oh, actually, I can technically pick up both rings now. Actually, I can pick up every passive item now. I might as well. I mean, maybe grabbing both cursed uh, capes was a bit of a mistake, but I don't know. I feel like I'm fine. And then some projectile speed, you know, for the road. The main concern about those guys is that they deal a lot of damage. They have a metric ton of health, but once you kill them, they do drop um, a lot of things. Like, they drop most of the stuff you're gonna want. Uh, golden eggs, which are the main thing that you kill them for, is the golden eggs. Oh, that even moves chests. That, that does make sense. It, I mean, it should move chests. Now that I think about it, but like, my brain didn't process that it moved chests because it didn't actively say, hey, I move chest, you know, but I guess they're an item on the ground. You know what? This, this arcana is really bad with pentagram because <laughs> you would just end up deleting all the items on the map, like constantly. That sounds horrible. No, don't take this in pentagram. I just barely realized I might as well pick up a chest now. Get no future. Now I have, uh, an, it, it, like, mega upgraded no future. Like, it's gonna be bouncing around for a really long time, super fast, with, like, tons of uptime. Just great overall. There's whip, so now I can upgrade whip. Or get an arcana, that also works. Um, what arcana do I want? Spell duration? Uh, how high is my duration? Negative 50 would make it 50, and it would go up 200, which would make it 300. I have projectile speed, which wouldn't matter. Double healing. Double healing's good. I guess I, I'll go with double healing. Because uh, with the whip, um, with the mega whip upgrade, you essentially just have an, a thing in front of you that constantly heals you for like a lot. It's not a small amount. It's nothing trivial. It's quite a lot of HP. 
Uh, can I get whip? There's both birds and whip. That 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 kind of looked kind of coolish, you know. It was in this fine thing. Um, get that up. Now I'm going for birds. I want to get birds evolved because now birds and upgrading this into max whip. Now I want to pick up a gun. One of the standard guns. Either or, I don't care which one. Fire ice. I don't actually have the fire archon unlocked yet, which kind of sucks. You'd think by now that I would play Arca, but like, I just haven't played him in so long. I should also invest some time into grabbing uh, Awake as my final Arcana, probably. Because Awake's just generally good for stuff like this. I almost hesitated. I was like, oh, those both evolved. Yeah, no. I'm going to get a lot of things that say that, but that doesn't mean I can pick them up. Is one of them dead? No, he's just up there. I'm like, did I kill one of the dudes? There's the red gun. Um, Ebony Wing? Uh, probably upgrading rings is the best thing that I can do. Because rings, if you don't know, just flat out... They increase the damage of everything, like, pretty heavily. But then, I'm pretty sure one of the rings might increase, like, your stats or something. I don't exactly know how it works. I haven't looked into it too hardly. Um... Dude, this is so... I mean, it, it, it's getting waves up. Okay, two skips, two... Two reroll. Um, do I have anything to evolve? Not really. I guess, like, if I leveled up, um... The rings all the way, I could just get infinite coronar. Or if I level up both birds is what I was originally planning, so I might as well. I mean, so far level-wise, I'd say I'm doing pretty well. I'm gonna start leveling up armor a bit, because I know enemies are gonna get a bit frantic. You can't tell by just the sheer number of enemies here. Um, increased HP, I guess. Nah, gun. That way I don't have to level up guns as much. Because guns are just as bad as most other unions. I mean, birds, guns, um, and... I, I wouldn't say whip's too bad, because whip's pretty simple. For an upgrade, but like, some of the other ones... Okay, I'm thinking that in those items, one of them actively is a downgrade, and then one of them is an upgrade. So, like, Silver Ring increases your stats. Um, Gold Ring increases the enemy stats. And same goes for the other, you know, capes as well. The, either the right or left increases one, and the left or right increases the other. Didn't notice that at first, but now I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'm just not getting birds, am I? Like, they really don't want to give me white birds to level up. There we go. I still haven't used any of the reroll stuff. I'm surprised by it, honestly. Not completely surprised, just... A little bit, you know? I'm like, oh, yeah. I guess I haven't really been given a lot of opportunities to get a lot of that stuff. Now I want to go for guns. The second gun. I <laughs> Don't st stop hesitating whenever you see an item that can evolve, because, like, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of passives that can evolve with other passives. 
I guess guns are gonna report that they can evolve. Because screw it. <laughs> I saw the chest. It it's just it was so hard not to walk into it. At least I have one more, so I'm not screwed yet. Yet. There's the other gun. Well, now I have both guns. Now the last item I want is learn all. Which I get after I evolve guns. So that's pretty nice. Increased frequency of enemy spawns. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I'm going to have so much curse. What's my curse at? 20% only? Wow. I'm surprised that it's so little. Because I remember having a run like this before with like 200 curse by the end. Maybe it was because I took box as well. Box does increase your curse by quite a lot. But... I can barely tell what's going on the screen anymore. It's so hectic. Now I'm going for guns. I want to get um, both guns super high leveled. And then I want to level up both capes and rings super high. Because at that point, then I can evolve both capes and rings into the infinite corridor, which is an absolutely insane weapon, I'd argue. Um, and the other one, which is um, the Crimson Shroud. But guns is by far my first priority here. Okay. All items are back towards me, so pick up all the experience. That's always an important thing to do. Is to pick up all the experience right when that happens. We're having increased growth. What's his growth at? 65. I'd, I'd say that's um, as bad as good as having a crown. With max growth from the shop. Which is pretty fair, you know? But I don't think it's... I don't think he's at max yet. Unless he is, in which... I don't know, maybe his growth starts out really low or something? I don't exactly know the specifics. Did that guy not drop a chest? That sucks. What's my levels on stuff looking like? Guns are at level five. My levels have started slowing down. Oh, there is a chest, but it's all the way down there. Ah, it's fine, it will be moved up later. Oh, they brought back the skeletons. Okay, this is when I start to get a lot of XP. Because if you don't know, the skeletons just constantly drop experience. Uh, the first and second time they die, I think. It, or it might just be the first time they die and then they revive and then don't drop any extra. Either way, they're just experience, like, dumps. Uh, increased recovery. Oh, that's what the Crimson Shroud does. It increases your HP recovery and HP stats, making you even more tanky. Which is something that I obviously need if I'm gonna have like 600 bajillion curse from everything. If I could definitely take one more extra item, I probably would have taken Pox and just had a max like curse run. Minus curse from the shop, which I don't have. A lot of that costs a lot of gold, and, you know, I'm not keen on investing my money that's on something that's actively going to make every run I do a living nightmare on some characters, and on other characters, like this one, it just makes it more fun, you know? This character's practically a cakewalk, just anyway, so, like, a little bit extra enemy aggro and stuff isn't gonna kill ya. There are two chests, like on top of each other. There's guns. 
now I need learn all. And I will literally have the max union set, which is, I mean, I mainly did it because I want to get the Crimson Trout and unlock the new character, but like, you know, might as well do every other thing. So it's kind of a cool run. Uh, yeah. So the goal so far is just kill everything. Get all the experience. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to level everything up. Because it is a lot of levels I need. I need a lot of experience. I don't know. Maybe I will. I mean, all of the experience gets attracted to me every two minutes in this neat little circle. So, it's... it's I'm totally fine with picking it up. I'm just going to start re-rolling. See if I can... I mean, okay, I'm going to say that that got the gold ring six because I was very confused. I think it must have put me over one instead of putting me on the reroll and I hit accept. That's what I'm going to say because I really don't want to think that I banished the first item or picked up a random item. I guess I should just save my rerolls for later. I do have a lot of banishes as well, so I could just banish every item that isn't the learn all. Just start banishing items that have no value to me. It wouldn't be a half bad plan to get rid of them, but I don't know. It's stuff to consider. Like right now. If I were to banish King Bible, obviously level up the rings. I am running out of time. That might be the biggest thing. If I start banishing stuff, I won't have enough um, time and experience to get the levels I need. It does require a lot of levels. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> There's that. I know the infinite coronary is going to just essentially kill everything. Maybe you can't do, like, maybe you just physically can't do it just due to experience reasons. I don't know. It just, it seems like it's going to take me forever. I just don't have enough time. I mean, a large part of that is also the fact that I'm literally like level whatever, one billion. And all of these items take like nine whole levels. What level am I? 98. Well, this is typically the level you are at the very end of the run, right? Like... Just focus on leveling everything, I guess. Picking up that XP to try to... Eventually get everything high enough. Rings just make every... you so strong. Okay, now I can upgrade this to infinite coronor. And a five chest. This might actually save my butt. Because I'll get enough, um, I'll get a bunch of levels out of this. This is essentially equivalent to five full levels. There's infinite coronor and two or three of the, uh, things that I didn't need. I almost picked up that chest. I couldn't see it. Now it's all just rainbows. Um, yeah, okay. So I get Bracer to level 5. And now I won't see Bracer anymore. 
which opens up even more opportunity to get Larno. This is a reroll. This is a reroll. This is a reroll. There it is. Okay. Now I just need the levels. I just need the levels now. That's practically it. I'm doing really good on time. How many chests do I have? Three? Four? I can take a chest. I should probably take a couple. You know, they're going to really increase the speed at which I gain everything. And that's going to be crucial for this endgame part. Where I'm trying to, you know, max out everything. What's the capes levels at? Six and one. Lernal's at four. Okay, okay. Not bad so far. I have three chests. I want at least two saved, just in case I get the final Arcana. There's the final Arcana, so I can save essentially one. Uh, what do I want? Increase speed, but then it lowers. Uh, my speed's at 80, so I'd put it down to 30, but then boost it to 200. I don't know. Um, double slash. That increases whip's damage. I really like whip. So I can take the other chest. Oh, and this is a five. Once again, I think that this is gonna actually save my butt. Two five chests make it um make it more likely. And that just gave me all learn all and cape upgrades, so I don't have to spend as many levels trying to level up those. What's cape at? Seven and learn all's max. Okay. Now I just want to get capes leveled. Dude, my screen's so laggy with the gold fever. Dude, this isn't going to end for the rest of the game. You know that. It's like so obvious that it's not, it's going to be here this entire time. I hope you I hope you guys like um slideshows because that's what this has become. Welcome to my power, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. I can't see anything on the screen anymore. There's too many lights. I really shouldn't have picked up that gold fever. I've got in almost 5,000 gold from a gold fever. This is going to be by far my highest gold fever. I know it. Because I have infinite coronor. And here in two minutes, or here in like ten seconds, everything's going to teleport to me. I'm ready. Okay. All the gold. So close, so close. I just need, there we go. Pick it up. Is this another five chest? I literally only have birds and the evolve. Da, 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 da. There it is. The Crimson Shroud. The last item I needed to unlock. Evolves um, the learn all. Caps incoming damage to 10. Okay, so I can only take 10 damage. That's a bit strong. I might as well just pick up every chest now. There's like no point not. Aw, oh, the gold fever ended. 7,000 gold. In this one, in this one thing alone, I have gained four, or I have gained a total of 10,000 gold in this one run. That's just insane. Yeah, okay. It caps it caps all incoming damage at 10. 
The funny thing about that is, I heal more than 10 every second if I keep walking. So, I think I'm literally invulnerable. And that goes for the Reapers as well. I think the Reapers can't kill me either. Hi, Manticore. How are you doing? I just walked the Manticore into the wall. But yeah, this is a full Union build with n no future as well. Because, you know, you got to have a bit more uh, extra lights in there. So my PowerPoint presentation looks cool. Guys, I swear. If I had a wake right now, I'd literally just be unkillable. I don't even think... The only thing that could kill me is white death. Which is literally an insta-kill. Which is from killing all the reapers on the map. If you're curious. If you kill every reaper on the map too quickly, you get you summon in white death. What's my greed at? 0%. Okay, so I'm getting standard gold. What's my, like... What are my final stats? 60% cooldown reduction. Plus 3 amount. Plus 3 revival. Increased area. Increased duration. Increased speed. Really weak might, though. Uh, increased movement speed. Uh, really high armor. Really high HP recovery. Tons of HP. Um, like, just generally insane stats yes please give me all the experience I will take dude it's gonna be essentially like a pentagram gather like ever wanted the pentagram gather but no pentagram that's literally what that is it's such a strong Arcana. I really like it. It's strong without being overwhelmingly strong. I'm... I think this is the highest level I've hit as well. Because it's going to be highest level, highest grossing, highest DPS run. I think this is just my overall highest score run. I'm not going to do... Um, I'm going to try to live long enough. You know, I'm gonna try to live, uh, I'll live the Reaper for about till 31 minutes, because if you do that, you unlock a funky little, uh, achievement in Arcana on this map. I'm pretty sure you do it on every map and you get something, except for, like, the newest map and whatever, because that one doesn't have an Arcana to unlock yet. But they'll add it in the next update. They always add stuff like that later. But yeah, no, this this run's just insane. I think it's pretty much turned into just, like, flashing color lights now. Guys, thanks for coming out to my light show. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, no, this run is... Like, I, I, I try not to do the broken characters, but Galio... Galio is needed to do a broken run. You know, like... Galio and the character who starts with the Larnal, they purposefully are, are really strong because they're like one of the late game characters. I feel like, um, what's her face? Is, is, is that Janata? I don't feel like she got that much of a difference that wise. Can I just walk through this? Oh yeah, you bet I can. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm so concerned about dying. Guys, what am I gonna do? I might actually be able to kill one of these green reapers. Or both, actually. I'm just healing way too much, and the cap 10 damage just makes this, like, plus my cooldown makes this literally impossible for them to kill me. 
by the time the red one tries to kill me, I have immediately procced the cooldown uh, to make them frozen. Yeah, no, I, hey, I made it to 31 minutes and a bunch of gold eggs. Oh, hi, White Death. You can tell White Death is coming because um, my screen's getting closer. And you can hear a little donging in the background. Dong. Where are you, White Death? There you are. Get over here. Give me a hug. And this will kill you literally. As you can see, I have max HP. Like, you can have so much HP, it doesn't matter. It will just guaranteedly kill you. Uh, the only way not to die to White Death with Infinite Coronor is to not pick up Infinite Coronor. <laughs> Just don't go for infinite coronar. But yeah, so as you can see, highest damage, uh, just infinite coronar at a whopping, uh, 1.6 G, whatever G is. I think that's like billion or something. <laughs> billion damage. Yeah, no, like it's a lot of damage. Um, I got past the million mark on it. Its DPS was millions. Just millions. Uh, Crimson Shroud doesn't do that much damage, but makes you literally immune to damage practically. And then, like, the next highest DPS was, like, no future. But that's not absolutely that big of a surprise. No future is just a really good item. Overall, a really great run. I unlocked an Arcana. I unlocked a new character. I got a literal butt ton of gold. Like, damn. Um, here's the new character. Don, uh, uh, Davano. Davano. Um, he's got an interesting passive where every level he gets plus one armor for a maximum of five extra armor, which is, you know, but he also has such a high HP pool and regen that just makes him literally, like, immortal. So, yeah, like, uh, he's immortal. Great, you know, because you needed a character in this game who was just practically immortal. Um, I'm wondering what the Arcana I unlocked did. Uh, which Arcana is it? Uh, I think it was Out of Bounds. Uh, freezing an enemy generates an explosion. The eggs that I got on, um... Gallo, Galio is like eight eggs, which is pretty decent. <laughs> he got even more growth. Great. I'm happy for him. Growth and magnet. Wow. I think he got like an extra skip or a, an extra banish or something. Oh my goodness. The Devonio has 11 banishes. Why would you need that many banishes? I just, I don't get it. Like, why why do you need so many banishes? Oh, I just unlocked an extra banish for everyone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was a really fun run for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I probably lose my mind trying to unlock all the arcana or doing one of the secret characters who are completely uh, weird unlocks that really don't explain themselves too well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see you all in the next episode. And goodbye!